SEC Network on this Sunday afternoon. It is a rubber match between Mississippi State and Tennessee in Starkville at News Park. Hello, everyone. Welcome into our broadcast booth here in Starkville alongside Cody Blaze. Zach, I'm Anthony. Large crowd on hand yet again. Malloy hits one high into the air. Should be caught. Center fielder Sacco comes in. She grabs it for out number one. Lead the Lady Volunteers. Seven home runs, which is in the top five as that ball is dropped and then thrown to first, and it's going to get away from Kennedy. So on the strikeout, Tennessee will reach first base safely. Or there is, rather, just one out. High fly ball should be caught in left. St. Clair underneath it battles the wind and makes the grab for out number two. The My ball's like that. Swing and a miss. Strikeout to end the inning. So 31 wins on the year. The Bulldogs have 29 wins on the year. Two of the better teams in the conference this season. High flying ball out to left. West is going to call for it, and she makes the grab for out number one. Swing and a miss again. Pickens getting off to a good start here in the first inning. If that strike zone stays consistent as we get into the middle innings. 2-1. That's a ball lifted in the left, dropping in for a base hit. Kennedy with a solid single, her first real solid in the count 3-0. Now the count's full. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on a changeup. Beautifully done by Pickens. And that will get the balls out of the inning. Nothing on the scoreboard for either. Right-handed catcher, high fly ball, foul territory. Who's going to call for it? Losing it in the sun, then regaining her composure and making the grab in fair territory. 26 hits on the year, including five home runs for the Tennessee second baseman. That ball lifted shallow into center. Wind's going to carry a little bit out there, but Sacco makes the grab, and that'll be out number two. Surprised we didn't see it sooner, though. So now the count's one and two. High fly ball, fairly deep, going back to the wall and unable to make the catch as St. Clair panel makes the most of her extended at bat and makes the Bulldogs pay for not catching the infield pop up. And that'll be a home run for panel. Her fourth of the season, and Tennessee's on the board first, one to nothing. Yeah, we thought it was a break then when they didn't catch the, the fly ball, and it ended up being foul. Now you're kind of wishing it was fair, so it's not a home run, and it just right over the glove of Briley St. Clair and left field at the wall, and... <laughs> Pop up, shallow in right. Second baseman calling forward, and Hawkins makes the grab. And State gets out of the inning. But Taylor Panel gives Tennessee the early, a little bit cold, perhaps. And she misses, and misses really badly on four straight pitches. And Wesselowski draws a leadoff. An injury to her right knee as she hits one on the dirt, picked up, throwing a second, relay to first, is in time. Tennessee, a huge double play right there to erase the base runner and retire Cook. And there's ball four. So Edwards had a good night offensively against Pickens and Tennessee on Friday. And now a quality at bat so far. Hawkins hits one off the handle, out to short. Picked up by Miller, thrown across in time. And the out is recorded. So ten Nice little boost at the end of that lineup. Gonna be a hard ball to catch up to, and Hawkins cannot do it. That ball was bounced right up the middle. The strike zone. I couldn't quite tell. I couldn't quite tell either. I. And that ball is high, ball four. So, tennis inside, a part of the plate. 
has been very, very tight. There's a strike. The runners take off for third and second, and the throw gets away from the third baseman, Barbary, right before having the ball secured. That ball lifted towards the gap. That's going to drive in both runs. Scoring are Miller and Malloy sliding in a second safely for the double is Gibson. And Tennessee's now on top, 3-0. Solid hit. I mean, way back there, and Sacco makes the throw in. Close, but it does look to be safe. Yeah, Gibson got that foot in there just ahead of the tank. The other one being Kasoyanopoulos hitting below 275. High fly ball, deep to left center. It is gone. And Zeta Puni has broken the game open. A two run shot. The Lady Vols, after the ninth homer of the year for Pooney, are leading five to nothing. It's a big home run for Tennessee. We talk about all of the ifs and maybes beforehand. Can't do anything about it, but that's, that's a rocket out of News Park. And if you're Tennessee, you weren't able to get any of these breaks Hitting-wise, or the, the errors from Mississippi State on Friday, it's got to be, it's got to feel good right now to be able to string all this together and have a five to nothing. Played the Bulldogs this year, like Florida. And I'll tell you, no lead is comfortable against this lineup. As West hits a rocket right at Bar. Went for MSU and against Tennessee. It's been the opposite today so far. Fly ball deep to right. Cook at the warning track makes the grab for out number two. Le this ball game now over an hour old. Hard hit ball going to be off the arm of Barbary. Safe at first is Rodriguez. Tennessee. Ground ball, Barbary this time makes a great diving stop and throws the first, and the error does not come back to hurt Mississippi State. Tennessee, though, able to score four. Bouncer to short. Thrown to first in time to get the speedy Sinclair out by about two steps. It's time up. No, could not check the swing, says Robert Guest. High velocity pitch there, a drop ball from Pickett. Feels like she was able to get back to herself. Barbary hits one out towards right field and panel ranges over and she makes the catch. One, two, three, State goes down in order in the third. Tennessee on top by five. Tennessee has given them a fairly comfortable lead, base knock up the middle. Rounding first and staying there safely is Katsoyanopoulos, her first. Really easy going for them as of right now. Bunt laid down, only plays at first. Snap throw to second and almost getting back, or barely getting back to the bag, rather. That they are that number four team in the nation. It's tough losing a game especially getting run ruled as a top team in the nation like they did on Friday. There's two outs. It can go in the Bulldogs' favor. Hopper out to Hawkins. Throw to first. Gets there in time. Marin and State do a good job there defensively to hold Tennessee to five runs. Full of innings left to play. I just I don't think panic is the sense you need. Ground ball out to short. Thrown across by Miller in time for out number one as Kennedy is retired. Lead off, well not lead off walk, but Blaine is on for the first time today. A one out walk issued by Pickens. And Pickens has been with Annette Bergman at first and Shane Jackson at third umpiring today. Chopper, gonna be a tough play and no play can be made. Miller did a good job just to get to that ball. And that'll be a single by a veteran. And you get back into freshman with Edwards and Hawkins. 
but they don't play like freshmen. Cook hits one high, hits one deep. That is a three-run blast. And just like that, the Bulldogs are back in the ball game. You knew the offense had to get going at some point, and they finally do. Couple on base. Paige Cook winds up and sends it deep. Cuts the deficit to two, and I mean, felt like she knew it the second she hit it, and that was a deep home run. A great swing. Timed that rise ball perfectly, caught it. Face. Fly ball, shallow and right, coming in and making the grab. Cleanly for out number two is making her 22nd appearance of the season, 10th in relief. Hawkins hits one shallow into right. Now ranging back is panel and she makes the grab. So Gottschall comes in and surrendering a three run home half of the fourth inning. High fly ball, and that could be your answer right there at the wall and gone, unable to bring it back over as Cook. She gave it her best shot. That ball just barely clears the wall. And that's what champions do. They come back and answer immediately a leadoff solo home run off the bat of Pooney. And the volunteers are on top now, six to three. And I believe that, that is her second of today it as is. well. The first coming in the third and I needed an answer, got the answer and that's the way to do it. And that now means that Zeta Pooney has the team lead. 2-2 two -two count. Swing and a miss. Marin strikes out. Wet. Over. Get Mississippi State out of this inning. You hate to surrender a run, but who cares if you can get out of it real quick. A uh, two hopper out to third. Thrown across in time by Barbary for out number two. Tennessee has at the plate the second baseman and Destiny Rodriguez. She gets a hold of one, hits it deep, and it will be caught at the wall by Bradley St. Clair. Boy, the wind had just died down enough that that ball did not get the same lift. She took a, a foul tip to the inner thigh. Swing and a miss, big time strikeout for Gottschall. Now they have yet to score against her in this relief outing today. Swing and a miss, Sacco trying to chase one up and away. Back-to-back -back strike. Just making it difficult. Trying to check a swing and Barbary went around. Boy, Gottschall fooled her on that one. Tried to hold up, he will increase their lead in the conference standings. Hard hit ball, but right at St. Clair. And out number one is recorded. Benopolis got tangled in the helmet. Ground ball to third. Barbary gloves, throws across in plenty of time for out number two. Well, give Marin credit. She's That's a big strikeout. I think at any point you probably had some fun and a little rubber match today and might come down to the wire. How about that? Unless things change, we'll drop back to 500, nine and nine in league play. That ball just got away from Gottschall and that will plunk Blaine, I think on the left shoulder and she will have herself a no hits yet for State against Gottschall in two plus innings of work. Downstairs, so hit by pitch and a walk. And look at here, tying run comes to the plate. Now the count's full. That ball lifted into center field, but right at Malloy. Cook just good, could not get all of it. Drew a walk back in the second, flew out to right. Her last time up in the fourth. Hits that one high into the air. Not very deep though, but drifting back as the wind got a hold of it is West. 
and she makes the grab and get in the third, but struck out her last time up. And strikes out again. Boy, Marin has done a good job against Malloy. If he's calling it foul, or simply just trying to get out of the way of the ball. Either way, ends up being a punch out for Marin. And it will be Pooney who's uh, back in the ball game, not Leach. So Zeta Pooney hits one right past the diving Hawkins. Nothing Hawkins could do there. Zeta Pooney, three hits now in the ball game. Sin and Pooney have done a great job though in the two and three spots to, to carry the offense. Ball comes in and hits her. Yeah, got her on the foot, I believe. Bottom of Line shot in the left. Coming around third, it's Pooney. She will score a huge run there for insurance purposes for Tennessee. And Zeta Pooney has to be, for Tennessee, your offensive player of the game today. In big moments, got, she had those two earlier home runs, and then she had the single in this inning with two outs, which got that offense rolling. And to bring home another run when it felt like Mississippi State a D. Yeah, a two-out single, hit by pitch, and then an RBI single. That throw across is a little high, but it's over to hole in time. Today's game has been the best game of the three on the weekend. Swing and a miss, rise ball, and Hawkins goes down on strikes for the first. Those are all the only two Bulldog hitters to reach base today against her. Swing and a miss, another strikeout, six now. Three and a third innings. And they have been incredibly competitive in all of them. So Sacco hits one out to left, this should do it, and it will. West will squeeze it, a one, two, three inning. How about the pitching out of the bullpen today of Peyton Gottschall, and she gives Tennessee the victory seven to three. Yeah, the, the, the pitching out of the bullpen today and then her starting and throwing a complete game yesterday, a big key in winning this series for Tennessee, but I still think it goes back